Hi, I wanted to talk about people forcing normalness on people that are different. Um, once when I was around nine, I was taken from school to a psychologist by mom, and she talked to this psychologist and talked to her about how I had no friends, I didn't hang out with friends on the weekends, and it kept going and going and going until finally um, I couldn't handle it and started crying and and uh, I think mom tried to comfort me I don't remember but what this is something that I was never I won't say that I'm still affected by it I'm not but it's something that showed me that people don't they not only don't understand people that are different or people that have Asperger's or unique people or loners or the thing was is that I felt like I had friends yeah maybe I didn't have good friends I was hanging out on the weekends but I still talked to people I still socialized I still had fun at school and the thing was I was having a really good day <laughs> and then I come to the psychologist randomly and mom needs to tell this lady all about how I had no friends and in and trying to get help for me and I just thought like what a bitch like I <laughs> I didn't even ask for help I didn't even tell her any of this and I didn't even say I had no friends I didn't even feel that way about myself but anyway I'm talking to a number of Asper people online that have explained to me that they didn't they didn't care about making friends they cared about their hobbies and that's it and you know, maybe for some people, friends aren't as necessary. Maybe they're more interested in the things that they like to do or the things that they like to learn about. Maybe they don't want any friends, and maybe for them, that's okay. We don't all need hugs. We don't all need lots of friends and lots of socializing all the time. And, and I know that for myself, I have thoughts rapidly going through my head all the time. And sometimes I need a break. I need to just stay in a dark room for a few minutes. I need to not talk to people for a while. And it's not personal, but... When you got that many thoughts going through your head all the time, sometimes smiling isn't the biggest priority. Sometimes sometimes talking to people isn't the biggest priority. I just need to sort through all the thoughts that are jamming up through my head because that's that's what happens when you have Asperger's. You you have too many thoughts at once. It's not like being a neurotypical person. You know, you you may crave your aloneness and your alone time because you need to clear up your thinking. And there were times where I would want to hang up by myself even just growing up. And even now, and, but I also enjoy my people time as well. I need a little bit of both, uh, or a lot of both, whatever. But anyway, I wanted to share that experience, and I hope that that can just be helpful. I, my wish for people wanting to understand things or wanting to understand kids is that if they, if they need to do something that maybe they don't understand, like, there might be a reason for that that you don't, no, and you may need to do research or just open your mind to it. Another thing that I did that my mom really didn't like is that there would be like this little alley behind this building at school, and I would just kind of like go hide there for a while and not even do anything, just stand there. But I, my this really creeped my mom out. I would find out like later. But what I would also find out later through research is that um, Asperger people need sensory breaks. They, if you read the book House Rules. Um, the character Jacob needed sensory breaks. When things became overwhelming for him, he'd have to like sit in a quiet room, and he had Asperger's. And it's it can be the same for anyone. Sometimes thoughts, sometimes situations can just be overwhelming, and you should be alone for a minute. I mean, it's not that you just kind of need to collect yourself. It's also an introverted thing as well, which I am, but I have my extra tendencies, but I, introverted people gather strength from within. Anyway... I just hope people can be open-minded and just maybe think a little bit differently about this if they're anything like my mom and like some other people. And you know, sometimes people are alone or by choice. Sometimes people like it, you know? <laughs> just if someone's sitting alone at a library, say, uh, that doesn't mean that they have no friends. Maybe they like that. <laughs> just hope people can maybe understand that a little bit better. Okay, I think that's all. Thank you.